Hey everybody, it's Emily Belknap with the Hendrix Belknap Group at Keller Williams The Marketplace and today I'm at Sin City Smokers where we are going to sit down with the owner Steve and learn about how they got their start here in Henderson. So let's go see it. Thank you so much for having us in today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Emily. I'm glad you guys were able to come out. We love the way you have this place decorated. So, um, thanks. Did you do it yourself? Um, we did. I, well, not myself, but um, I think every member of my family at one time that lives in this state had a hammer, screwdriver, a paintbrush in their hand. We uh, used to be a sushi bar, and it was all black and red. And we, we uh, <laughs> oh painstakingly broke down about 52 pallets to get all this wood, and uh, we built everything. And uh, a lot of this stuff I've collected over the years, but we really wanted to make sure that when you came in here, people realize that it's a barbecue joint, a family run place. It's not corporate owned, it's not a chain. You know, we wanted you to get the full experience, the feel, the look, the smell, the sound of barbecue. We definitely got that across, Thanks. for sure. Cool. So what made you guys start the restaurant and why barbecue? I'm crazy. Yeah? Um, <laughs> I must be because I've been in this business over 45 years, I've done, um, I was a sous chef, a saucier in a French restaurant for a lot of years. I've done every kind of food and, and found cooking over fire and outdoor cooking and barbecue to be my passion. When I say barbecue, I don't just mean the food. I mean the way of life, the barbecue life. If you think about um, growing up in your childhood, you can probably relate. Every time we celebrated something, it was around some kind of a barbecue. And I don't care if you're grilling tacos in East LA, doing lobster and clam boils in New England, or you're roasting a whole hog in Arkansas, or putting T-bones on the go in Texas, it's a barbecue. And that's, you know, when family comes around, the food comes out, everybody's having a good time. They're telling stories, you know, people you don't see for a while, cold ones going around. It's just, you know, that's a barbecue. It's a spirit, it's a life. And more than that, barbecue is a, is a, it's a spirit from the people that do it. I mean, you will never meet a bad soul at a barbecue or in a barbecue joint. Um, you know, I've been all across, I've had the privilege to go all across this country and to get in to some places that uh, I've been around for three, four, five family generations, which are the best places. And uh, there's just there's just nothing like the feel of true barbecue and true Southern hospitality. I completely agree. So I'm originally from Tennessee. But then you understand what I'm yes. talking about. Yes, so right. we're a big barbecue family. So are you from Vegas? Uh, I'm a Colorado hillbilly. Yeah. Um, I have family from Texas and family from Arkansas. And um, it's funny because I have a lot of people come in and say, well, what style is your barbecue? Um, good? Uh, <laughs> they don't like that answer. The, and, and really the thing is, we don't do just one style. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, I've had the opportunity to travel all over this great country and try a lot of different things. Uh, I just took the best of what I found that I liked. So we kind of do like a Carolina style with our pork. We kind of do Kansas City style with our ribs. We kind of, we definitely do Texas style with our brisket. And barbecue is different than a lot of foods. I mean, people travel and then they check it off in their, in their guidebook, like, okay, I gotta go to this place while I'm in town or that place. You don't really do that with Chinese food and Italian food, you know? People like pilgrimage across the country once they hear about your place. And I've had people from across the water come in here. You know, people from Australia, people from England and stuff that saw us on the interweb, you know, that crazy interweb thing. <laughs> and uh, they come looking for you, you know, and oh, I'm gonna be in Vegas, I gotta check this place out. And you know, we're 10 minutes from the airport. It's pretty convenient. Yes, you are super close to the airport. Yeah. Good planning. So what is your favorite thing on the menu? Oh my God, that's like asking which one of your pets or your plants or your kids is your favorite, you know? Um, I like everything we do. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't serve it. And you know, we do a lot of things. We twist in a little bit of Cajun, a little bit of down home, sometimes a little Southwestern food stuff, you know, even things with German players sometimes. Cause this stuff that I, I ate or would eat, I mean, we'd sell a lot of it. Yeah. Whether it's my favorite or not, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a crowd favorite. Vegas is definitely a meat eating town. And uh, we go through a lot of risk. We get compared to all the great places in Texas a lot, which is very humbling. And it's it's a it's a high uh, that's a high critique mark on, on my chain. Um, you know, I like everything we serve. So if there was that's one thing, that's why I look thing. like this. <laughs> if there was one thing that maybe somebody who hasn't heard of you or hasn't been in yet, the one thing you would want them to know, what would that be? You know, we do it a little different. We don't buy the cheapest meats. We cook with love and passion and we start fresh every day, literally. So where can people find you? Is it on social? 
Uh, you can't, we're hidden. All the cool <laughs> kids know where we're at. Uh, we're on all the social media platforms. Um, you know, they're doing stuff, what's that new one, TikTok, we're on Instagram, oh, yeah? we're on Yelp uh, Connect, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on, uh, I miss one, Snapchat, we do stuff. And, uh, you know, a lot of the kids carry it, do stuff, people come in here and do stuff. So we're on all that. You can find us on our website, sincitysmokers.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us in. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure.